Seeds Farm. If I select a country, it updates the state select options. If I choose a state, it updates the seed select options. Also, note that if I change a selected state, it reloads the seed options. And of course, if a seed is a red selected, but I change the country, it reloads everything. Remember the project form. If I choose a project, it updates more than one field. I want this to happen at the same time. And for the role example, I want to be able to choose a role and show specific content for the selected role, any kind of content, not only farm fields, even this beautiful flying text. This is how we are going to solve this problem. Seeds form, this is just a normal scaffold generated form, but it has some key chains. We are using a stimulus controller in the form. Using the stimulus controller, any parent field like country, state, project and role we will listen for chains and call a method to update the dependent fields using tuber strings. Any dependent field or group of fields, like state, CD, the project fields, or the role fields, are wrapped in turbo frame tags to be remotely updated when the parent field changes. This is the form view. Take a look at this code here. In the form tag, we use the stimulus controller. Inside the form tag, we put the fields. Here is an example of a parent field, the counter field. It uses the stimulus targets feature to be accessible in the stimulus controller using a has dependence target list. Also, it has a selector for the stimulus controller to fetch one or more tuber frames to be updated when this parent changes. Now, here is an example of a dependent field, the state field. It's in a partial, like the other dependent fields or group of fields. Everything is wrapped in a turbo frame tag. This turbo frame has this data attribute, a URL, used by the stimulus controller to fetch the updates. Also, it has another data attribute defining the parameter name that should be sent in the update request, along with the value of the parent element, country. For this case, this is an example of a request that will be triggered if I change a country. Here's the code for the stimulus controller. As you can see, when a parent element target is connected, it adds a listener. If any one of them changes, it triggers an update in its dependence. Using this clever method here. In this method, we fetch the dependence to both frame tags using the selector defined in the data attribute from the parent. For each dependent turbo frame, we generate the URL for the update using the data attributes from the same tuber frame. This URL has the path and the query string parameter with the value selected in the parent field. This reload method on the turbo frame will make a request to a Rails app. It will expect a turbo string response. If you want to know more about turbo frames, I will leave a link in the description. Now, the request will arrive in our people controller, in this action here, where we load the states based on the counter parents. It will render this view, just a turbo string response, where I render the states partial. But now, the options will be populated with the states for the selected country. When the server responds, it will replace the element with this ID. And guess what? It's the turbo frame. Yay! The same idea is used in the state seed selects, and also for all other cases. Remember the example with the project. The project is the parent field, and the two dependence fields are here. In one single partial with one single turbo frame. When this parent changes, it updates the turbo frame containing the two fields. Remember the example with the rows. If I change the radio, it updates the turbo frame with the role's dependent fields. This is the code for the radio buttons. This is the code for the partial. As you probably have noticed, you can put anything inside the dependent turbo frame. This is the code for the controller, and this is the code for the turbo string view. Ah, and there is one more thing. As you can see, Thanks for the has dependence target disconnected hook 
of the stimulus controller. If you choose a country, state in a city and change a country after that, it will trigger an update on the state field. This update would remove the old state select and add a new one. The removal of the old state select would trigger the disconnected hook and the seats will be reloaded with no options because you haven't selected a state yet. And there you have it, a reusable solution that we can use for our dynamic fields.